All right, so now we have our loopbacks in there. Go back to router one. Show IP route. Okay, so we now have the 5.5.5.0 network in our IP routing table. It's a connected route, and that's because it's a loopback. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this and pop it into RIP. And it's pretty easy. I'll show you a notepad first. Oops. All right, so we can actually get rid of some of this stuff. Conf T router BGP1 network. And the mask is going to have to match when you do the network statement. So unlike uh, RIP, where you could just type in the IP address of the network without a mask, BGP is very specific. So here we're going to do 5.5.5.0. And you actually have to type in the word mask, 255.255.255.0. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Copy that. Go into router 1, right click, enter, and there is our network statement. If we do a show IP route, nothing's really going to change. Pretty much everything there is okay. Show IP BGP. We've got we're, our nice little 5550 network in there. You can see it is a valid route because of the star, and it, it is also the best route because it has a little caret symbol. Okay, next hop, it's all zeros, means it's us. Wait 32768 path is I, which means we actually use the network statement to pop this network into BGP. Later on, we'll be doing uh, redistribution and external BGP routes. But for now, this is pretty much it. Works. Now, the reason you won't see it in show IP route is because the connected route right here has administrative distance of zero, which beats BGP's administrative distance with IBGP. Right. So IBGP, if you read in your books, it has an administrative distance of 200, which should generally lose to almost everything out there. Okay, let's take a look at router 2 and see what has come up in the routing table over there. And out of that, show IP route. Okay, so show IP route, you can see here I've got a B, stands for BGP. 5550. You can see here the 200, that's the administrative distance via 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. Okay, so coming from that router, we can get to that network. Well, let's see if we can. Ping 5.5.5.5. Hit enter there, and we could definitely ping. Okay, so that works out fairly well for router 1. Now let's try the same thing on router 2, except we're going to purposely mess it up a little bit. Let's copy that. Or actually, we don't need to copy that. So on router 2, it's going to be conf t router bgp. If we want to put the loop back in there, it's going to be 6660, and it's going to be the same mask. Now let's see what happens if we purposely mess this up. Okay, so a lot of times when you practice, you want to, you want to mess up things just to see what happens. So I'm going to mess up the mask here by putting in a slash 8. Copy that bring up router 2, right click, paste that in there, and you can see there that BGP is telling you it's the incorrect network or mask is configured. Doesn't like it. All right, all right, no problem. We'll change the mask on that to the correct one. Now let's see if we can do network 7.6.6.0, so a network that we don't have any information to. Let's see if that works. Copy that, right click, enter there. Okay, so it looks like BGP takes it, but does it really? Show IP BGP. Okay, so here in our BGP routing table, we've got the 5 network. This came from router 1, but we do not have that 7.6.6.0 network. It doesn't work. All right. So you can see BGP is not tricked by this. If we do a show IP route, it's not going to be in there either. Okay, conf t router BGP1. We'll hit the up arrow a couple times. And we're going to cancel this one out. We're going to do control A to get back to the beginning of the line there. Just type in no. And that's going to kill that statement. 
Okay, so we know that you can't have the wrong mask, and we also know that if you put in the wrong network, it's not going to enter it in into BGP. So it's pretty, pretty good to know. So we'll do that. Copy that. Right click, network 6660, and there show IP BGP. Always a useful statement. Okay, so here you see we've got a star and a caret to the 6660 network, so that's good. Next top is all zeros, that means it's us. And weight and local, uh, weight metric you'll learn later, local preference you'll learn later, and the past stuff you'll learn later. Lots, lots and lots of stuff to learn for, for BGP routing and, and uh, preferences. Okay, so let's go on router 1, show IP route, and look at that. We've got a B for BGP, we've got a route to that loopback, 6666, via 1112, so I can get to this loopback through this router. And I learned it through BGP. Well, let's ping it just to check things out. And we have a successful ping. So let's finally, to wrap things up, take a look at the run under section BGP just to take a look. Okay, so this is how our final BGP configuration looks on router 1. So you can see router BGP1, no synchronization, that's by default. BGP log neighbor changes, that's by default also. That's our network statement that we typed in, and this is our neighbor statement that we typed in to get to the loopback of router 2. So that's good. Actually, we should probably expand this a little bit, make it a little bit cleaner. No auto summary, that's also another default. So back in the old days, we had to actually type in no sync and no auto. But now you don't. All right, so that was a quick and easy way of popping in networks with IBGP. Thanks for watching.